Welcome to this lesson about how to create line and curve alignment tables. So this is the drawing we were working on in the last video. So we're going to take this and turn it into this to where we're going to create tags for our alignments. And then tag L1 is going to correspond with this row L1 in our line table for our alignment. So we're going to create this line table and this curve table. So go ahead and open up this drawing you're working on from the last video. And then the first thing is we just want to delete these station numbers. So just click on any of those numbers and then just hit delete on your keyboard and do that for all three alignments. So after we do that, then we need to label these lines and these curves on our alignments. So we do that through the annotate tab on the ribbon, click on add labels, come on down to alignment, and then come on over to add alignment labels. And this add labels box, we're going to change our label type to be multiple segment. And for our line label style, we're going to go ahead and just use bearing over distance and then curve label style, we're going to use delta over length and radius. So that'll work. We don't have to adjust any text heights right now, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. So go ahead and click on Add. Click on your first alignment. So this happens to be Lakeview Drive, and you'll see it labels all the lines and curves. Then click on our second one, and this one up here happens to be Oak Avenue, and then we'll click on Ash Avenue. So it added all of our line and curve labels for us. So then go ahead and hit enter when you're done and go ahead and click on close on this dialog box. So we've got these, now we're ready for our table. So I'm still on the annotate tab on the ribbon, click on add tables, come on down to alignment, come on over to add line and click on add line to add a line table for your alignments. So in this table creation box, under table style, I'm going to go ahead and click in that box and select standard and then I'm going to make a copy of it. I'll click on my information tab and I'm going to give this a different name. So this is going to be SATC line table. Click on data properties. This is where we're going to spend most of our time. So right away I see that my text heights all need to be changed to be 0.125. So do that for all three of those. And then kind of down here in the bottom, this is the way we organize and we set up our table. So the first thing is all these headers should be in capital letters. So I'll go ahead and double click on one of these, such as line table alignments. It opens up this text component editor. I will highlight the text on the right and then just type it in all capital letters. And then go ahead and hit OK when you're done. And go ahead and do that for all these different headers. So this is what that should look like. So after we get these in all capital letters, then it's time to start working on the actual information that gets populated into our tables. So I'm working from this row on column value. So line number, it's going to be automatic, filled in by Civil 3D. And it's going to be the tags are going to be linked to the table. So then under the length column, we want to change the format of this a little bit. So I'll just double click here on length. And it opens up this text component editor. And this works very similar to the way we've been editing our bearings and editing, editing our distances. So you select the text there on the right and it populates this information on the left. Make your changes over here on the left, such as I'll change my precision to be one hundredth of a foot. After you make your changes here, use the arrow to push it over to the right. So now this has been updated. I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor here at the end of this of the text and I want to put a foot suffix there. So I'll go ahead and type my foot suffix and hit OK. Then for direction, I'll do something pretty similar. Go ahead and double click on tangent direction. This opens up. Click to highlight all that text over there on the right and change the precision to the nearest one second. And then push it over. After you've pushed it over, go ahead and hit OK. Now start point. I actually don't want this information in my table. So I'll left click on start point. It selects that entire column. Hit the red X over here to delete it. And then do the same thing for endpoint. Left click on the endpoint header and click on the red X to get rid of it. So we've deleted a couple, but I want to add one. I want to add a column for alignment name. So I'll come over here to this plus symbol, click on that plus symbol. It adds in a new column for me. I'll go ahead and double click in that header cell. 
make sure all my text settings are set appropriately, and they are. So I'll go ahead and type in alignment name and then hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and resize these columns a little bit. So if you hover over the vertical line in between the columns, you can click and drag that to resize these. There we go. And now again, I'm working in this column value row. So right underneath automatic in the alignment name column, go ahead and double click there. Come over here, click on my format tab. I want to change my justification to be center. Everything else looks good. Go ahead and click on properties. And here under properties, I want to select the alignment name category. So I'll do that. I don't have very many options down here. So I'll leave it the way it is, push it over to the right. It fills that in and I'll go ahead and hit okay there. So then at this point, I'm done with data properties. I can come over to my display tab and there's three portions of this table that I'm going to turn off. So it's the title area fill, the header area fill, and the data area fill. So I'll turn those off. Now I'm done with my style. I can go ahead and hit OK. It takes me back to my table creation. So that was just creating this table style that I want to use. Now I can actually create my table. So over here under table layer, I've got an icon over here to the right. Go ahead and click on that icon. In the object layer box, click on that same icon. It takes you out here to a list of all my layers. I'm going to click click on see anno table layer and hit OK. In my object layer box, I'll hit OK again. And then everything else there looks good. The only the other thing I have to do is just click on this icon to select which lines I want to be included in this table. So I'll get, go ahead and click on this green icon. Takes me out here. I'm going to start on Lakeview Drive up here at the top and I'm going to click on this very first tag and then just work my way down that alignment, selecting all three of those tags. So after I have those selected, I'm gonna come on up here to Oak and select my line tags, two of them for that one, and then finish up with Ash, select that tag, go ahead and hit Enter after you're done selecting your tags. Civil 3D asks you, do you wanna convert all selected label styles to tag mode? Yes, you do, so go ahead and click on Convert. It tells me I have six tags selected. Everything else looks good. I'll go ahead and hit OK. There's my table. I just need to click a place to place it. All right, you probably noticed that my line numbers didn't match yours. That's because I've been working on this drawing, and so I've already used through L6. So I went back through and, and numbered my tags, and now my line table and my tags will match yours. So the next thing is to do that same process to create a curve table. So I'll show you what a curve table is going to look like. All right, so this is what that curve table is going to look like. The process is pretty much exactly the same, except when you go to add tables, you're going to select add curve, create a new table style, set your table style up to look just like this. And then when you go to select your tags, C1 is going to be up here on Oak Avenue, and C2 is down here on Ash. So it should look just like this. So when you get this done, go ahead and print this off, turn it in, I would love to see it. Uh, good luck creating your line and curve tables for alignments, and let me know if you have any questions. As always, thanks for listening.